I met a woman that is Jewish, and she told me to not say Jehovah. I want to kindly ask you, sister, if you allow me, why did she say this? Because many people have said to me that we don't call the Lord Jehovah. Thank you, sister. Okay. That is a matter of languages and pronunciation. When God presented himself to Moses and he said, from now on, you will know me as the Lord, because previously they had known him as the omnipotent God, almighty God, but now you will know me as the Lord. And it turns out when that word was translated, it was without any vowels and it was just consonants. It is only the consonants, and we are unable to pronounce the consonants. And as they could not be pronounced, the consonants that God had given to these prophets, this is why the translators, those that were translating the Bible from one language to another, they agreed, and they decided to add vowels in order to pronounce it. But regardless, there are many languages, and in every language, people name God differently. Every language has their own words, letters, consonants, and vowels. They're different in how they pronounce the name of God or the Creator or the Heavenly Father or the God who created the heavens and earth. However, they want to call Him in their language. But either way, God understands us. God understands us because God sees the spiritual language. But we have our spiritual language to present ourselves before him, which is what counts, which is our heart. Our heart is linked to the creator, to that supernatural being. So in one way or another, he has to be named so that we are able to address him. So then, do not worry. You tell that person, okay, that's fine. If you don't call him Jehovah, but he still understands. God understands me because in my language we say God. How do you call him in French or German? You call him God, the creator, or the one who created the heavens and earth. Every language has a name for him. So we couldn't say, oh, well, don't call his name in French because he's not going to hear you. The Lord doesn't speak French. Or God does not want you to speak French, but another language. No, it doesn't matter the language. Human beings, people call upon God in their language, in their dialect, and God understands them. God comprehends Because that person is calling on a supernatural being, not something physical. If someone kneels down before a statue or a painting, well, then they are failing in that sense because they are addressing a statue of an animal, of another human being, or a dove or fish. There's a statue and they say, well, this is my God who made me. And they kneel down before them and they revere them and honor them. Well, In doing so, that person is failing because they are not honoring or calling upon a supernatural being as is our God. He is a supernatural being in spirit. He is spirit. And in spirit is how we seek him. Call him whatever you want to call him in your language. Call him God, the creator, the omnipotent one, the heavenly father, the eternal father, the Lord, the teacher the Lord of Lords, or the King of Kings. The Lord has many names. And we can use any one of those names to call upon him, honor him, address him. And so we're not going to argue with anyone on the matter of Jehovah. And, of course, we won't argue with that person and say, well, okay, well, maybe you're right. But either way, God still has understood me. He has heard me, though maybe I call him incorrectly or I pronounce it incorrectly. He still hears me and understands me. He understands us as when human beings 
give a nickname to a person. For example, a Nicholas's people call them Nick. And so people say, oh, well, Nick, people know they're calling him Nick, although his name is not Nick, it's Nicholas, but he's still understood. And God understands us because we are calling on the Lord in spirit. And so he will understand us. So let's not worry. God understands every language. He understands every name that we wish to call him. And the matter is, is that we seek the Lord with sincerity and that we draw closer to the Lord and we are always linked to the Lord with that being, with that supernatural being. And most people say, well, he is that supernatural being and he exists. He is the one who rules over us. He rules the universe. He rules every force of nature. Who controls and rules over rain, hail? Who controls the seasons, the winds, the seas? Who rules over that? Well, it is a supernatural being, a Lord, a God, however you want to call him. It is in spirit and he is ruling over us. And so do not worry, sister, about these things. We press onward and God understands us. Yes, they added some vows and he understands when we call him the Lord or Jehovah or our God. The seeds.